What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we got a request from Way to start the night out. You were really excited when you sent this, so I figured I'd just get to it. You got a whole bunch on the list that you sent. You sent a bunch of Brian Cad through. We got some classic Farnsy tunes that you sent through, along with some other individual artists. That We got some Billy Thorpe. I know you sent some Billy Thorpe through. I can't, I can't remember them all right now, but I was just looking at the list, so I know there's a few of them right there so we'll get to all of yours Heidi you sent lists through as well we'll get started on yours very shortly everyone else that's requested things I got a whole list compiled that's gonna keep us busy for the next month we got a Nightwish album dropping Just Trey is dropping an album we got all kinds of stuff to cover over the next month so it's going to be a good time. We got a lot of fun stuff coming over the next month. So we're going to start this out with Flight of the Concords on Letterman. This song that you sent through Way is called The Most Beautiful Girl in the Room. I don't know what to expect with these guys with a title like that. I'm not even going to try to make a prediction. <laughs> I love their dry humor. I love the way they approach things musically. I like that they can also rap, apparently. We learned that in Hurt Feelings, the last one that we did. We also learned that they can rap. You sent, I think it's another hip-hop song by them through with some more rap stuff in it. It's called something about a, a hip-hop apotamus, which is fucking awesome. That's hilarious, and I love it. And a, uh, maybe a rhinoceros or something like that. They're playing on animals, obviously, with the wordplay. So, we'll get to that for you as well, Way. We got plenty of stuff to cover. I'm excited for all the stuff we have coming up. But we're going to get into this Flight of Concords Letterman performance to start the night out. It's called The Most Beautiful Girl in the Room. Awesome that they got to be on Letterman. That's a big accomplishment for what they do especially that's a really awesome accomplishment that they managed to get themselves on letterman so we will see what we get with this one i appreciate you guys tuning in subscribe if you're new here we're here for laughs on this one these guys are really funny i enjoy covering them and they always get me laughing so it's always great to have some laughs if anyone here struggles with mental health or addiction go get professional help live a better life take the advice you're given Apply it to your life. Become a better version of yourself. Chase after the things that you aspire to do in life wholeheartedly without anything holding you back. Inspire other people to do the same thing when you see them struggling with those things inside of their life. Help them. Obviously, they have to be willing to help themselves, but you can do your best to help them out as well with the advice and experiences that you've had. So always keep that in mind. Life can get a lot better and you can help other people on the side of it. That's why I get on here and do what we do on here it's because it's very therapeutic. It's a nice way to wind down and just listen to some music with people and really analyze all of the meaning inside of the songs and relate them to our lives. It's an opportunity to provide inspiration and spread some love with each other. So thank you guys for building this with me. It's been a blessing to be on here with you. We're going to get into this one on Vacasa Coffee. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Flight of the Concords. Most beautiful girl in the room. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank David, you, David, David, David. Thank you. Mm. Nice. The room, I can tell that you are the most beautiful girl in the room. In the whole wide room, yeah. <laughs> and when you're on the street, depending on the street, I bet you are definitely in the top three. <laughs> Good looking girls on the street, yeah. Depending on the street. <laughs> and when I saw you at my mate's place, I thought, what is she doing? At my mate's place, how did they get a holly like that to a party like his? Good one, Dave. Ooh, you're a legend, Dave. I. <laughs> I love these guys. The sarcasm is brilliant. 
he gotta love it. I like the way that they're approaching this. It, the, the comedy is great. Just the little one-liners that they have inside of here. Let's let them finish this verse out before we talk about the words. Dave, if he's gonna make a move on you, he's not sure. I said, Dave, do you mind if I do? He says he doesn't mind, but I can tell he kind of minds. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I the stereo. I dim the lights out to very low. Here we go. <coughs> Bro. <laughs> this is the most real life song I've ever heard in my life. I think I'm gonna say that about everything they do, but the, the humor that they apply to these real life type of situations is classic. They make light of complicated situations and weird situations in life. That's what they do with a lot of their lyrics, from what I've noticed. They take situations in life that are, like, sort of uncomfortable or, like, awkward or um, deep emotional feelings, and they bend it into comedy. And I like that. But this right here is fucking hilarious, the way they worded it. They're looking around the room. He says, looking around the room, I can tell that you are the most beautiful girl in the room. In the whole wide room. <laughs> and when you're on the street, depending on the street, I bet you're definitely in the top three. <laughs> depending on the street, he says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some streets, some streets you might not even find any top 50s, <laughs> right? Just depends where you find yourself, bro. <laughs> he says, but you're definitely in the top three, depending on the street. Good looking girls on the street, depending on the street, he says. When I saw you at my mate's place, I thought, what is she doing at my mate's place? He says, how did Dave get a hottie like that to a party like this? Good one, Dave. You're a legend, Dave. <laughs> Fucking Dave, man. Fucking Dave. I asked Dave if he's... <laughs> this part's fucking hilarious. He said, I asked Dave if he's going to make a move on you. He's not sure. So I said, Dave, do you mind if I do? He says he doesn't mind, but I can tell he kind of minds. But I'm going to do it anyway. He says, I see you standing by the stereo. I dim the lights down to very low. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he says, sorry, Dave. I gave you a chance. <laughs> Fucking Christ, bro. <laughs> no remorse for Dave. He <laughs> said, so sorry, bud. <laughs> I'm going over there. <laughs> that shit's fucking funny. You're so beautiful. You could be a waitress. You could be an air hostess in the 60s. You're so beautiful. Well, you could be a part time model. And then. <laughs> Hold on. I seal the deal. I do my move. I turn the robot. It's 12 or 2. Just me and you. Oh, yeah, first off, I just want to appreciate that the musicality of this is actually fucking brilliant, though. <laughs> the guitar chords, the structure, I mean, the unique chords to add on to, like, this. It's like a sort of spiciness to it. With adding in those chords, they have a flair to them. I, I'm trying to put my finger on exactly what kind those are. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Man. I'm just going over the first verse again. This shit cracks me up. 
What are they doing? <laughs> it says, you're so beautiful you could be a waitress. You're so beautiful you could be an air hostess in the 60s. That's really specific. That's really spe He must have a type. He's definitely got a type. That's really specific. <laughs> He likes the air hostesses. Some people like the air hostesses. Some people like the pilot. Some people like the nurses. So on and so forth. You guys get the gist. <laughs> he says you're like an air hostess. That's his type. He said you're so beautiful you could be a part-time model. Which is really fucking specific. Just part-time. Only part-time. What? What's he implying she would do full-time, though? That's the funny part about it, right? Because he never finishes the implication of what full-time is. He just says you could be a part-time model. So what does she do? <laughs> he says, then, then they said that then I seal the deal, I do my moves, I do the robot, is what they said here. They got really specific. It just says dance moves on the original track. But they got specific for the Letterman performance. Brought out the robot for everybody. <clears throat> These two. You never know what to expect with artists like this. And that's why I like them so much. Because it's just completely unpredictable. The direction they go with everything is always completely left field of where you would think it's going to arrive. <laughs> Okay. Just me and you and seven other dudes around you on the dance floor. I draw you near, let's get out of here. Let's get in a cab. I'll buy you a kebab. And I can't believe that I'm sharing a kebab with the most beautiful girl I have ever seen with a kebab. Ooh, yeah. Well, why don't we leave? Let's go to my house so we can feel each other up on the couch. Oh no, I don't mind taking this now. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, yeah. <sighs> he is not letting. <laughs> He's not letting it slip. He's like, hell no. <laughs> He's like, this needs to go every direction but with these seven other dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy. <laughs> both of them, right? Oh, Jesus. Both of them, right? They're fucking hilarious. I love the musicality of it, like I said. The musicality of this is really good. It's a well-crafted song. All jokes aside, all hilarity aside, this is a really well-crafted song. I like the structure of it. So, oh my guys, they said, it's 12.02, just me and you and seven other dudes around you on the dance floor. I draw you near. Let's get out of here. Let's get in the cab. I'll buy you a kebab. <laughs> The mispronunciation of kebab, though. <laughs> and then he continues it, though. He goes the whole way through. He completely dedicated to it. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest part of it, is he completely dedicated to it, going into the next part. He said, and I can't believe that I'm sharing a kebab with the most beautiful girl I have ever seen with a kebab. <laughs> So now every scenario that you're in, he's going to be like, oh, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Eat a donut. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Hold a knife. <laughs> so on and so forth. <laughs> oh, this guy's... These two are fucking funny, bro. These two are so fucking funny. He says, why don't we leave? Let's go to my house. We can feel each other up on the couch. Oh, no, I don't mind taking it slow. He's like, we don't even have to get to the clothes coming off. Let's just feel each other up at this point. He's like, 
I got better places to be than with these seven other dudes and you. <laughs> and that's just with you. <laughs> I love them. I love them. They're great. Cause you're so beautiful. Like a tree. Ooh, you're so beautiful. Like some ceramics or something. They had to censor You're that so part. <laughs> like one of those girls I've definitely, definitely been chatting to in the chat room. You're so beautiful. Wilds like Angel 22 at Yahoo. You're so beautiful. You could be a high class prostitute, seriously. My goodness. You're so beautiful. Well, you could be a part time model. Back there, are we gonna explain well, it now? You probably have to keep your normal job. Spend a part of your time modeling and part of your time next to me. Next to me. And the rest of your time you'll be doing your normal job. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Have you, Brett? Nice yeah, to see you. Jermaine? Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Why Hell you yeah. Us, ladies and gentlemen? I love that they got to do that. That's the first thing I need to say. That's so awesome. Like, you can see, they were definitely nervous. They're lucky that their shtick is being nervous. Because... <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> They were clearly nervous about doing that. But that crowd, though, kudos to that crowd. They just made a really fucking warm moment for these guys. A super warm moment for these guys. I love that they got to do this. It's so special. Letterman's like nothing to take lightly. Letterman is historic. And some of the greatest artists in the whole world have made it onto that stage. And Flight of the Concords has added themselves to that list. This was 17 years ago when the video was uploaded. Congratulations to them for getting to do that. That's fucking awesome right there. Let's start there. Amazing performance. Very, very well done. The humor in this is amazing. Brilliant humor. I like that they added in even more funny things than what was on the lyric sheet originally. They played with it and made it special for the live performance. And they acted like they censored the one part, but then they just extended it further, deepened it, and then doubled down on actually saying it on Letterman. So, what we had... It's because you're so beautiful, like a tree. And then they dropped into their sort of freestyle section where they were talking about, he was talking about the girls he's definitely chatting with in the chat rooms and said one of their usernames. <laughs> but then they said, or a high class prostitute. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Good luck with that nowadays. Not that I encourage that, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, a loaf of bread's fucking gonna be $10 by the end of the year if we don't get Donald Trump into office. <laughs> For the states, at least. <laughs> Fuck. He said, you're so beautiful, you could be a part-time model, and then they elaborate on this. He said, but you probably still have to keep your normal job. A part-time model, spending part of your time modeling. Part of your time, hi, falsettos here, next to me, he says. And the rest of your time doing your normal job. And then they didn't say this in the live, but it ends on my place is usually tidier than this. And he got her to go. <laughs> oh, goodness. They ended it by letting you know that he definitely got her to leave that, that dance party. 
the seven other dudes bar is just next level. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. The implications that were made inside of this are hilarious, and the fact that they ended it on a note of them actually arriving to his house alone, and him telling her, you know what, you should just go be a part-time model, and then you can do your normal job, and uh, the rest of the time you can just spend with me. How about that? That's what he said. <laughs> I love these guys. They're too fucking much, bro. They're hilarious. I love that they got to do Letterman. That's a very, very high achievement. That's a very high honor to be able to do that. And they pulled it off very fucking well. It's a very nerve-wracking kind of performance. Especially for... Someone like Flight of the Concords that is banking on people to find them funny while also showing off their musical talents. Because what they do is they use techniques that would be revered inside of a normal song with no comedy inside of it. And they spin it to where they playfully fuck up they act like they're awkward and nervous but in reality they're probably two of the best vocalists and musicians purely in the whole world like i bet you if they just sang a regular song to you that wasn't comedy they could sing just about anything. Like, listening to the range inside of the falsettos and also the deeper sections and the way they throw their voices for comedic effect, they could tackle pretty much any other kind of genre. They just have comedy as their shtick, obviously. And I love that. I love that for them. It's a great way to take your talent and put a unique spin on it that not many other people try to do. Comedy music is not something that you find a whole, whole lot. Most people are real serious and emotional and deep and stuff. So comedy acts, when it comes to music, are kind of far and few in between. The good ones, at least. The really good ones. And these guys are top tier. Very top tier when it comes to the comedy acts. I love it. Thank you, Way, for this request. I appreciate it. I'm going to leave a like on this video. we got to leave a like on this here. If it'll let me. There we go. Original video in the description. As always, subscribe to Flight of the Concord. Show all the artists on the channel support. I really love doing this for you guys. I'm glad we got to have some more laughs with Flight of the Concords. This is one of my favorite ones that we've done by them just because the story of it is... there. There's nothing like even unrealistic about this it's just the way they described it is absolute hilarity because i mean let's face it it's accurate <laughs> it's extremely accurate and I, i'm sure that many of you know that already i don't have to tell you that i love you guys this was a fun one to do go get help for mental health and addiction if you need it have some laughs with the videos. Come find some inspiration. Talk to us about your problems if you feel comfortable with that. Leave them in the comments and get some advice from people. Everyone here loves each other, so we help each other out the best that we can. Let us know if you're going through anything, and we'll help you out, man. I can promise you that. I love you guys so much. Go check out my album, Stranger Labyrinth, if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Bacasa Kabi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.